Hey folks, it's Colin James back on the couch here in Vancouver and we're talking guitars today. Uh, we're going to start kind of breaking down the different guitars I've owned over the years and that I've played and uh, this one here is really, uh, I've probably played it as much just sitting here with it than I have my whole life. It, it's kind of sacred so I don't touch it a whole lot and uh, it's the only maple necked uh, Strat I own. Uh, I've never messed with it. It has all the same machinery on it, which is kind of late 80s, early 90s uh, bridge and uh, uh, that I that was on it when I was when it was given to me and I've so far felt it important to kind of keep it intact but um, uh, I hosted a show in, in Montreal called Blues 91 uh, and in 91 of course and it had everyone there and if I could relive it I would relive it just so I could enjoy it and really soak it in because uh, it's long gone <laughs> this night but I'll never forget it and I was the host and my job was to introduce a couple people a night I mean to introduce the performers all night and that night I was presented this guitar as a gift at the end of the night and it's the only it is the only Strat I have that's got the maple neck and I've never touched it in any other way it's a it's like the night it was given to me and uh, you'll see here Everyone involved in that night's show, so Pop Staples, and I, I got to meet him that that day and sing with him that night uh, to Colin James, God bless Pop Staples, and I met him before I met Mavis, and uh, it's kind of Mavis said kind of heard about me through Pops, and uh, you got Buddy Guy, you got Albert King right here, you got Otis Rush from Otis Rush it says, uh, you got Albert Collins with this beautiful uh, handwriting and uh, Albert and I played that night uh, buddy and I played that night I caught Otis a little bit that night but I was kind of rushing around so I'm, that bums me out that I didn't pay better attention and Teeny Hodges and I ended up in a club that night in Montreal he wrote take me to the river for, uh, for Al Green and, and did a lot of the guitar on the Al Green records and um, It's a better guitar than I thought. I, playing it today reminded me that it's pretty good and I think I'll start playing it more often although I have to be careful with all these signatures. Anyway that's the story of this guitar. Uh, uh, a, great, a great Strat and I think I'm going to start uh, start playing it more often carefully though. So that's there you go 1989 or 1990 pink American made Strat with a ridiculous amount of people who signed it on the same night. There you go.